You'll need a true intention to reach your destination so that you don't keep stopping for coffee and a piece of pie every 10 minutes. Reward itself, your dopamine levels are at their highest when you're moving towards something. When you think you're about to win, that's when dopamine really spikes. Sometimes you gotta take a break from just about everything, disappear, come back, and shock the world. When you're getting ready in the morning, then you're exercising, or when you just need a little boost, download Mindset and listen to your favorite motivational speeches while getting ready for the day. It's time to stay focused. Why are you so antisocial because I'm trying to get it? Why are you staying on the basketball court so much because I'm trying to get it? Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it pain is temporary. I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. That pain is your friend. That pain is going to take you to the next level. Remember, just because something's never been done before doesn't mean it can't be done. You'll need to know how much time to allot to the trip so you can get home in time for whatever else you have to do. And you'll need enough maturity to call and say you're going to be late if you get stuck in a traffic jam. You can't lay your hand on any of those things and you can't measure them with a yardstick. But they're as important to reaching your destination as the car or the gas or the keys to start the engine. They are analogs of character. Let's continue this comparison for another moment or two. There are all sorts of ways to keep track of the condition of a motor vehicle. You can look at the tires to see whether they've worn out their tread. You can look at the odometer to see how long it's been since you've changed oil. So if dopamine is the anticipatory reward that keeps you moving and going after things that excite you, getting this more expansive version of yourself, of your future possibilities, then not only elevates your serotonin, but it gets you excited from a dopamine perspective. And now it's like, oh man, I'm anticipating getting better and I'm feeling better about myself. So this is why we want to self soothe That's probably pretty close to the neurochemistry of what's happening. That's certainly a great description of how you're going to feel, right? Expansive, feeling better about yourself, optimistic about your future. You're getting the dopamine hits of the excitement of moving towards something, anticipating a future reward. That is why you want to self soothe and you can turn on a switch and then walk around the car to see if the headlights and the taillights are working properly. There are objective indicators of the condition of your car. Similarly, there are ways of objectively evaluating your achievements. Most people don't take advantage of them as often as they should, but they're available nonetheless. For example, you can put together a financial statement in order to determine your net worth. You can hire an appraiser in order to learn the market value of your house. You can compare where you were 10 years ago to where you are now in order to determine the degree of progress you've made in your life. As I've tried to explain, achievement depends on character in the same way that a successful drive to the grocery store depends on knowing when to apply the brakes and when to step on the gas. But how can you know if your character is in good enough shape to get you where you want to go. What you eat, what you drink, what you take in, all of it matters so much. I'll even say lifestyle might be a better answer. So your diet is a huge portion of it, but your exercise routine is also critical. So if you know you have something stressful coming up, I'm gonna recommend get your diet on point beyond the scope of this video to go into that, but I'll say really quickly, whole foods eat whole foods, things that look like it looked when it was walking around or like it looked when it was in the ground. Okay, if you stick as close to that as humanly possible, you're gonna be headed in the right direction. Uh, then the next part is getting your exercise right. So actually working out, pushing yourself. And then even more important than the exercise is meditation. So you're, you can actually change the structures of your brain by meditating. What that, you can change the, the physical structure of your brain by meditating. We haven't figured out a pathway on how to get it done, and we will get it done. This is it right here. This is that moment that you got to work. This is that moment when you got the push. There is no weakness in the place of business. Think about your end goal. Think about what it's going to look like. Picture it in your mind. See yourself already there. Stop praying that the storm will pass over you and pray to grow through the storm. What you go through, you will grow through. You simply have to give it everything you have to get it. You need to shut down all negativity and frankly not give us what others say and think you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you call me. 
I'm talking to that athlete. I'm talking to that administrator. I'm talking to that nurse, that doctor. I'm talking to that student. I'm talking to that communicator. I'm talking to that pioneer, that inventor. I'm talking to that entrepreneur. I'm talking to that preacher. I'm talking to that person who refuses to stay where they are. I'm talking to that person that doesn't have a problem laying in obscurity because you know that when you come out of the dark room, all eyes on you. We live in a culture of busyness, distraction, and noise. And sometimes the only way something's going to change is if we disappear. Life is so short. Life only has only a little time. Although it will continue to go on, you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about, but yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're going to leave? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, you're going to prove a. Eh. Everybody's trying to stop you, everybody trying to kill your dreams, you're going to prove all of them wrong. I don't care what the adversity has been, you have two choices you can be. Unforgiving, bitter, angry, upset, and be a carrier of grief or you can choose. Resilience if you truly want to make change. If you truly want that greatness, you got to work hard, you got to dig a little bit deeper, you got to find it, you want to test my resolve, you adjust my ability to go to limit, you want to see what his word is in mind, begins this ain't no gang. This is my lifestyle, son. Shut up, you talk entirely too much about your dream, you talk too much about your goal, say it once, say it twice, no more than three times, and get to work. Sometimes you gotta delete the app. Sometimes you have to walk away. Sometimes you have to fall back into the dark room and focus on you. Everybody wants destiny. Everybody wants manifestation. Everybody wants fulfillment. Everybody wants the next level and the relationship and a higher quality of living. But nobody wants to eliminate distractions. Nobody wants to disappear for three months, four months, six months and get into a place where you can focus on just you. What if you could just shut out every distraction what if you could just shut out the world for just a season and focus on you a man is rewarded in public for what he does in private can you unplug for just a moment and focus on you focus on what matters why are you here what is your destiny how do we go on how do we lead the next generation Hate is not going to make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are, and how true you are, and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. You already know what it feels like to quit, to throw in the town, to sit on the couch, do you know what? It's like to give everything that you and push and persevere, you got to make the opportunity happen, you got to be fired up, you got to be hungry for it, you got to have the desire to push yourself, are you here, work, work. Work, work, grind, 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 ride, the what the relentless system does, it's a mindset before you have an exceptional skill set, okay, you have to have the right mindset. The fighter jet mentality is that someone who is just determined, relentlessly obsessed in achieving an outcome in the face of all adversity have always had this relentless mentality. And if you say I can't do something, if I fail, if I you know messed up, it just motivates me even more I just become. 